um, exercises one or two and three, both of which refer to this information. So we'll just do them both in the same video. It says Barton Company had the following costs. For 320 units, we had direct materials, direct labor, variable manufacturing overhead, fixed manufacturing overhead, variable selling administrative, fixed selling administrative. Calculate the unit product cost using absorption costing. Round your answer to the nearest cent. And so here in Excel, we'll, we'll do our absorption costing, which is what we've been doing all along. And so it's going to include our direct materials, our direct labor, the variable manufacturing overhead, as well as the fixed manufacturing overhead. And so if you remember back, the product cost is always direct materials, direct labor, and manufacturing overhead when we were doing our absorption costing. So we'll just pull those down. Uh, we have 71 times 320 units. And, <clears throat> sorry, did it? Uh, it wants us to do unit products, so we don't need to multiply it by the 320. So we have 71 direct materials, 40 direct labor, variable manufacturing, 13. And then we'll break down fixed manufacturing overhead so that it's per unit just to keep in um, consistency with how we've listed the materials and the labor so far. And so we have manufacturing overhead of 7,360 divided by our 320 units gives us 23 per unit. And then we'll do a sum here for 147 total product cost per unit. So the next problem is the same thing, only variable costing. So calculate the unit product cost using variable costing, round your answers to the nearest cent. And so I'm going to go back to the previous page so that we can see that information. <clears throat> and so now the difference is that we're looking at the variable, not the fixed. So we'll include our direct materials, direct labor, and the variable manufacturing overhead, as well as the variable selling and administrative expenses. And so we have 71, 40, variable manufacturing overhead of 13. And I'm sorry, I should not have put the variable selling and administrative because it's asking us to look at unit product cost. So if we were preparing an income statement, we would include that variable selling and administrative. But in this case, we're just looking at product cost. And selling and administrative is not a product, it's a period cost. So we'll only have these three. Then we'll do a sum for total product cost per unit of 124.